Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about the take screenshot activity in UiPath and the save image activity in UiPath. So this is the one of the important part of Re framework and this is also best way to uh, manage your exception like you can see your exception. Let's suppose you have got the exception and at that time you are not there uh, near your system. So you, d you don't know that on which steps on which UI element you have got the exception. So you can go through the screenshot, go through the image and you can see oh, let's suppose like uh, the UI element was not, th not there. You can understand that this UI element is not found, select not found something like that. So we we'll learn how to take a screenshot and save image in folder in UI path. What is the use of take a screenshot and save image activity? How to take a screenshot when exception occurs in UI path? how to take a screenshot of selected area in UI path. So we'll do all these things practically. So let me show you one demo in UI path. I have already created one project. So let me open the UI path studio here. I have already this a uh, demo project. Let me run this control F5. So this is used to uh, run the project without debugging. So now what will happen? You know that it will take the screenshot same as the print screen key works. So let me uh, open the folder and then let's see the images. So here you can see here, this is the screenshot. We have taken this screenshot from the activity, right? So by this way, you can take the screenshot of the, you know, active screen, uh, active element, or you can say that complete screen. So for that, I'm going to tell you to take the screenshot. We need to take one activity that is called take screenshot. So that's the simple word that take is screenshot, right? We'll drag and drop here. And uh, if you want to take the screenshot of the selected area only, then you can indicate on the screen and you can select that area. Like you want to just take the screenshot of that area. And if you don't want to take the selected area, if you want to take this complete screenshot of your screen from like from this corner to this corner, all these things, then you don't have to click on this. Just leave it, go to the properties and go to the output here and press control K and take a variable here uh, that is a screenshot enter so this variable type will be images you can see here go to the variable and the variable type of image this is uipath.co.image you can see from here uipath.co.image you can click on the browse for types if you're not getting and you can search from here uipath.co.image you can select this uh, this part is done. We have taken the screenshot and we have stored in the this variable that is screenshot. We have taken the screenshot, but we need to save that screenshot, save that image somewhere in the folder. So we need the folder, right? So either that should be created here in the uh, this location. Let me uh, remove this first. So this should be you know created here in this uh, project folder or we need to create that if that is not there. So the best way is I will tell you later, but before that I'm just going to uh, show you simple way. So we'll take one save image. So it will save the images which we have taken from the screenshot. So we'll just, you know, uh, here you will see here the image. It shows that image. It will take only image variable. So we'll write here screen sort because we have the image in this variable and then the file name should be test.png here we are not passing the uh, folder name so what will happen it will directly save this image to the current project folder so control f5 and let's go here and let's see and now i'm going to tell you the best way to use this take a screenshot and the save image activity so here we have the take a screenshot and now we got that screenshot and after that we need to store this in one screenshot folder anywhere so for that we need a folder so if we already have the folder created in our project folder or anywhere then we just need to use that otherwise we have to create that so uh, let's suppose we have the config file and in which we have to put the folder name the screenshot folder name as a like the in the name column we have the screenshot folder name and the in the value side we'll put here a screenshot so that is the name of the folder so what will happen at the time of saving the image we'll take that value that name from the config file and then we'll store that here or we'll create that 
so uh, i'm not going to take the config file here but the same as that i'm going to take one assign activity and let's suppose we have the folder name screenshot folder and i'm just putting here the uh, default value same as the config file that is screen sort or images right so here we have the folder uh, the folder name in this variable so we you can directly use this here uh, this folder name slash uh, this image file name but let's suppose if that folder has been deleted by mistake by the user then what will happen you will get that error so we'll have to make sure so this is the best way to do this always uh, think about the if and else so here we need to first check the folder exists or not so for that we'll take the path exists uh, with the use of this we can check that this folder name is there or not in the folder uh, in the current project folder or anywhere from here we'll select the folder and the path will be uh, this folder name screenshot folder so what will happen this activity will ch you know check the existence of the this folder name let's take one variable exits and then uh, we need to come uh, check that we need to you know put the condition if folder is there then no issue we, we need to save that if not there then we need to create that so we'll take one if condition and here we'll check exists if it is true then in the then section we'll not write anything we'll directly go to the save images here if the folder name is there then the directly it will it will go outside the if uh, if block if activity and then it will save the screenshot and if it is not there then we need to create folder with uh, this name the name is a screenshot image so we will take one create directory we'll drag and drop here and from the path we'll just write here screenshot folder so it will create this and then we'll go to the save images and from here we'll take that folder name this one we have the folder name screenshot folder and then we'll take one plus and then images should be stored under this variable under this folder so we need to you know take the consider this as a path so we'll be taking here slash or there are one uh, more few steps you can take like you can uh, store the folder name and uh, in the file info something like that and you can take the uh, path dot combine and then you have to combine the this folder name and then then path name the file name and then again you have to combine that uh, you have to use that but you can directly use your screenshot folder slash and then plus and you need to take the file name so if you'll take just a test here test name so that's also okay but let's suppose you already have the test name then so that's why the best way to you know use the any serial number or anything like you are using the policy number account number so you can take that that name that number so that you you will be able to recognize that in this loan number in this case number anything like that in this thing i am getting uh, this exception so this is the screenshot of that case or that record or the transaction number you can take like that or you can take the um, uh, date and time so that you can uh, consider that yes this time we got that uh, error so this is the screenshot of that so we'll take here now dot to string we'll do the format of the date time and then here we'll write here mm dd yy hh and then ss so we'll take here a date time format will be in the uh, mm dd yy hh ss it means a month date year hour and the second and then here at the end we need the file type that is png so it will be like plus double quotes on dot png so it will save the file uh, images in the screenshot folder with this 
file name this name and dot type dot png and now let's run this control f5 so here we are getting one error now do you know why are we getting this error can you think about this here we are getting error source save image message save image failed check if the file name is valid path ui path dot code dot image operator exceptions so you can see the message save image failed check if the file name is valid path so let's see here this is the activity and here this is the file name so what do you think uh, what is the wrong here so incorrect path is we need to remove this colon and we need to, we need to just take one dot so if we will put here the colon that means it's taking as a incorrect path and now save this run this control f5 and now we didn't get any error now you can see here the screenshot has been taken and this is the screenshot let's suppose you are getting one exception and you want to take the screenshot only if you are getting exception so for that you have to move this this one into the try catch so for that we'll just take surround with try catch and we will move this one this part this sequence outside this try go to the catches take one exception system dot exception and move here all these activity of the taking a screenshot activities so what is the meaning of this moving the, uh, these all steps into the exception because we want to take the screenshot only if we are getting one exception so what will happen here in the try care section we are running our project and let's suppose the selector not found or ui element not there not found or any exception then what will happen the catches section it will go to the catches section so catches section will catch that exception here and then when it will when the exception occur, uh, like occurs so it will enter to the catches section and then here we have written the steps to take the screenshot so that time it will take the screenshot so in the try i am going to take just uh, one simple example like notepad here and i am going to take one type into activity just indicate on this screen here and just type something like uh, take screenshot and run this so the meaning of this like when we'll run this project and if this notepad is opened then we'll not get exception so if we'll not get exception then we'll not get the screenshot let me delete this this fold this folder here so if there is no exception then we'll not get the exception uh, images the screenshot and if we are getting the exception then we'll get the screenshot of that ui element or that complete screen so let's run here control f5 so it is typing here so there is no exception let's see go to the folder here and we don't have the folder created here and now let me close this no notepad file here so it means it will try to find that element that notepad file or that could be anything like you are using one application in which you are going to enter the uh, name loan number policy number anything like that any amount and uh, due to the selector not found selector missing or the the selector has been changed the the robot will not able to enter that amount into that field so that time it will throw an error so it will take one the screenshot of that so now let me run this again control f5 so it will wait for the default time that is 30 second and after 30 second it will take the screenshot because it will go into the catchy section after exception occurred okay now let's go to the folder here take the screenshot images folder and open this here it shows that uh, let's see here 
there is no notepad opened here you can see the screenshot here notepad is not there that's why we got that error and you can see the file name here 530519112.10.png means this is the mmddyy so uh, due to the the formatting of the date and time it's showing the incorrect name here but that's okay we are getting the correct name uh, we are able to you know get the things which we are we want to do so uh, we can just you know change here to get the correct name uh, go to the here and we need to take here mm in the caps mmdd yy and now let's control f5 and now let's see here the the date time is 09051918 it means uh, 09 means the mm and the 05 dd and then yy means 1919 and this is the time 12 hour and then then second this is 22 second so now this is the correct format you have to write there mm in the caps and then dd you can write in a small and then yy could be in a small so by this way you can format the date format here and then make sure you are not using the uh, colon after the hh otherwise you, you will get one uh, error so make sure you are using just dot after the hh so if user is or uh, any tester is sending you a mail that we got that exception so you can open that folder you can see that oh the email uh, that notepad was not opened right and then you can correct that if there is issue with the open up open notepad application or the by mistake user has closed that application right so i hope you like this and you learned something from this video so please like this video thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed and please like please like my all videos and if you have any question comment please comment on video thank you